about the big guns. You have... <laughs> and he says one more, one more for the side of Arne Cage and they're gonna be booking their tickets to the Grand Finals. Is it gonna be off of this tech pick once again from Arne PH with this Valir in the wrong position? Baloyski is gonna debut that hero in M3. All right, let's see it right now. Again, the lineup for both of the teams as we are getting ready to get into the game. It is going to be a very well-rounded draft for both of the sides. But ladies and gentlemen, game number three, will it be a clean sweep or will BTK be able to take it to game four? Let's get it into the line of dawn. We go Onik versus BTK. This game is going to start out relatively slow here unless they want, unless Onik wants to go high octane straight away because so far from the way it looks, it looks like BTK just wants to take it until the mid game, play it nice and slow, get that first item and then see what the response of Onik PH is going to be. Oh. Not a very, rea it's not, not going to be a very um, proactive mm -hmm. draft but more so a passive. Okay, so interesting Ooh, decision now. They have swap lanes. Esmeralda flickered in the lane. Yeah. Okay, so Esmeralda is uh, a gold laner. As it is controlled by Fight Chicken, but he starts in the X lane so that he has a great matchup. Also, he doesn't want to face up against the, the Nane, and as Nane is just way too strong in lane. And this is a great decision from BTK. Having Victor in the gold lane up against the Nane and allows them to have a decent laning stage against Onyx PH. I like it. I like it so far. BTK with this uh, cross map, basically, the switch of the roles is going to be really good, but Baloyski on this Valor. In that early stage of the game, this is going to be really, really good for them. The fact that they can actually disengage from all the fights that BTK wants mm -hmm. to force upon them. They also have that uh, stun against, uh, uh, at least a long range stun against the fires of Heather Dare Strike. So. Ooh. Yep, continuous punish here. Hatred wanting to actually get on top of Strike to secure that first blood, forcing out the flicker. Now, notice that Beloiski is opting to go for the impure rage. My guess oh. is that he's going to be rushing uh, high mm. damage items very early on, yep. most likely going to be the glowing one instead of going for the enchanted talisman. Yep. Sorry about being a nerd here, but look at the Kyrie already taking out the scaled lizard and then um, Beloiski defending their own scaled lizard. This is such a. This is the natural order for Moba Zane to pick up against Evo SG and against Blacklist International. He abused that kind of rotation to get a little bit ahead against their opponents. And so far, Arnik PH have read through that. Man's calling himself a nerd, being a color caster yeah. in an esports tournament. Real rich, real <laughs> rich, brother. But Dolarski, I mean, so far, as long as he holds his own against Fried Chicken, I think it should be okay. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens here. Dolarski will be able to pop off that Black Dragon four. Moba Zane still on that turtle right. Now going to be zoned away. Kyrie jumping in is going to be turtle secured by the side of BTK. And this is going to be Onyx BH looking for some more. Kyrie! Oh. Kyrie! First blood by BTK! Kyrie with a mistake over committing onto the enemies. Oh my god. And BTK really, they got a kill onto Kyrie. They also got a turtle and eventually onto the Larsky. Oh. This is looking good for BTK. Very good. Very good indeed. I mean, this is what they want. Oh, wait, see, uh, ew, he was so close. Literally 0.2 seconds away from oh. actually canceling and actually getting another kill for his team. But as I mentioned before, BTK is waiting for Onik to make that first move. And when they do, they can look to re-engage. They can look to punish. They have the tools to do so. Onik PH have to be very careful with yep. the way they engage their fights. If you're looking at BTK, they have very strong uh, early game. You have the Roger, Lapu Lapu, as well as the um, Esmeralda. They can really jump into the back lines of RDPH. Even in the front lines, actually, they can just ta tank up and try to deal as much damage as they can. They also have the help of Rafaela and the Farsa for more damage and more sustainability and more reach. So, honestly, for BTK, th the way that they finish this rap really makes sense against Onik PH. Yeah, for the airstrike being used again to clear out the mini waves in that mid lane. BTK trying to play for the gold lane now with Victor. This is going to be a really, really good setup, but Kyrie, he's also there. Let's see, Quachero in and out. It's going to be Mobo Zane, though, yep. taking it away. Kyrie keep, just keeps on being a nuisance yeah. here, but again, he doesn't have the damage to back that off yet. Yep. Not yet at all. I mean, the retribution fights between the two have been pretty 50-50 overall. So let's see how they play it out as Hatred clears up that mid wave. The next turtle is going to be coming up, and I think this is going to be extremely important for either side to actually start pressing their advantage, considering that Yuzong has actually switched over with Natan to head down to deal with Lapu Lapu and contest for this turtle. Oh, look at the voice key. He's caught over overextended right now. Let's see what he does to get away from this flicker already for the air strike is used, is popped, but Onyx Philippines with a very good disengage getting into the heads of BTK, forcing them to go top, and now they need to go back bottom side. 
He's playing like a Natalia as the Valir. It's really crazy yeah. to see. I do love. Oh, I always love these duels, right? You know for sure that they're gonna be poking each other, but at the same Ooh. time, you know that no one's gonna die. And a slight mistake will mean. Oh, oh. God. oh. how did that second part of the what? auto attack not Holy. connect? Holy, that was insane! So oh. so close. Onyx PH almost wow. getting a solo kill in that fight, but now Onyx. They're trying to get control over the turtle, but so is BTK. And in these early skirmishes, honestly, I might have to favor BTK when it comes to this, man. The Bravest Fighter is going to be such a good utility, such a good engage tool to go into the backside. And that's exactly what it goes in. That literally, I just mentioned it, and Victor goes in with the stun with the Bravest Fighter. The Larky, though, looking for the re-engage now, going for the Black Dragon form. It's going to be Kyrie popping into the Cloud Shadow onto there. Let's see what happens here. Moment's in gets chunked low. Turtle will be taken away. Onyx Philippines takes the objective. BTK takes the kill. It's going to be Chad Kill oh! Kyrie, no. look at him. He's gonna go for the double kill right now, but it's gonna be Shark still able to run away. Victor going in once again with the help of Fire Chicken. Hatred trying to clear the waves, but he's gonna get chunked really, really low as Marquis comes in and peels for his mid laner. <laughs> wow, what, what a play coming out from Andy PH. As Delarski really just held his ground, he's actually pretty low, but he was able to sustain himself back because of uh, rocking onto Victor. It then transfers into the turtle fight. Now Kyrie against Victor. Oh, what a. Almost dodge. Yeah, he's oh. gonna he's guaranteed this kill here. Oh, Wait, hold no on, way, Victor! No way, no way. Oh. Okay, Kyrie having to use his retribution. He had it ended there. He did not want to put Kalarski <laughs> behind in lane. All the way in Fire Chicken caught in the bad situation. One HP Shark comes in with a holy healing to save him, but it's gonna be Zia now. Popping the feathered airstrike onto Poloiski. They're looking for the in-gate now. Volma Zane going for the like and bounce. Fire chicken will be one picking it up with the help of the falling star with the RTH on the board once more. You take kills, we'll take turrets. I love the fact that the retribution battle is won by Kyrie in that second turtle. They, he lost it in the first one, now he has won it and then eventually converted into a kill. Now they have the turret bottom lane. In fact, they have a turret lead over BTK. Six minutes into this game and have regained the lead. It still is pretty even. And I do like the odds of BTK just trying to go for the next set of fights. They are strong now. They are getting all the items. They have the... Eventually will get the second item onto Zia. And also that will mean Moba Zane will get his war axe on top of the Wind Talker, and that is the go. That is gonna signal go time for BTK. Well, speaking of go time here, it looks like Kyrie is about to complete his uh, Blade of Despair, and I think that's gonna be a significant power spike on his side when it comes down to split pushing on top of everything else. But Loisky, he's gotta be super careful. But so far, he's been playing a strong game, just completely peeling off BTK from his team members and keeping himself alive. Oh, Kyrie jumping in, Bravest Fighter as well by Victor, looking for re engage. But Kyrie Blue only is focusing down that turret, and it is gonna be another oh. turret to set up a neutral objective. Onyx Nature just so intelligent in doing these plays, and once again, uncontested turtle for the side of Onyx BH. Notice down bottom side, BTK is sacrificing turtle. They might make a play on towards Marky, and I think Onyx, they smell it. Yep, the stark difference of jugglers uh, to Kyrie is that Kyrie is willing to really bait out some of the spells of his opponents. Marky just Excels oh. in footwork now. Wait a minute, oh. Mobazane gets caught very low. He jumps back in, but it's gonna be no. Hatred zoning him away. Now Moba Zane, he's gonna get taken down. Boloiski is the one who picks it up. Now Kyrie in the backside going for the quad shadow onto Zia. Shadow kill, baby. Goes back in. Amazing, amazing flicker by Zia to get him out of there. But Onyx PH pushing the pace now with a 2,000 gold lead. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It really is. Moba Zane, I think even he knows that he hesitated for literally mm -hmm. 0.1 seconds, and that was more than enough for Marquis to get out of range from that Lycan Pounce, and that's super, super frustrating because that would have been a big kill to get. Oh, no. Huge kill to get. Huge kill. Now, I think that you want to focus on the mid lane this time as DTK will not have a defense. They will have to use the Esmer Esmeralda as well as the Farsa, but that means that the other lanes will be pushed. Oh man, Marky pick up, picking up that endless battle. Kyrie finishing up the, the Blade of Despair. This is not looking good, man. They are making use of that 2,000 gold lead to the maximum, maximum potential. But we can see right now, BTK, they, they're fumbling. They're yep. fumbling, they're stumbling. They don't know what to do in this map right now. Onyx PH, they have control of all of it and they can't really make any proactive plays right now. Maybe I'm wrong though, because Voloisky has been caught in a, you know, Never mind. What? For the airstrike only, the Ooh. thing used, Boloisky will be able to walk out of that one. And again, 
wasted rotations coming from BTK as Kyrie jumps in with the quad channel onto Victor, pumps in his passive, but it's only to bait for that top side push, and this oh. is just so frustrating for I, BTK. Yeah, it's like you're playing the game, but also not really. It's, I mean, Onyx BH just setting destroyed. the pace, setting the tempo, taking literally all the objectives away from BTK after baiting out the right spells. It's rather frustrating, yep. but I think BTK, what they need to, uh, need to do right now, they need to start disrespecting. They really need to start walking up here and bothering to take on these fights because if Onik isn't going to overall uh, force anything out of them, BTK might as well commit. Oh, Feller is such a good pick into the Roger, by the way. Like, we didn't notice this, but actually, Dlarski going in onto MOBA Zane, taking half HP away right there. That's going to be a very yeah. good setup for the next Lord yeah. here. It's basically just anti-initiation coming out from this Valir. You have that way to cancel your opponent's jump. You have that pushback, and it's all about the counter-engage afterwards. That really what makes it so difficult to play against this Roger, and, uh, against this Valir. And Valir is also an anti-invade slash invade kind of hero from the Rome roll, if you play it correctly, you, you, you deter your opponents from being aggressive and you also secure your own side of the map. Okay, well, now it's time to see. Onyx PH, 3,000 gold lead. They're just going to control this map, honestly. Mm -hmm. BTK, what do they need to do to force a fight? Well, I think BTK have to play around these neutral objectives, right? They understand that as long as they maintain their waves, they know for a fact that at some point, Onik will need to look to close out the game. The only ways they can do that are with Lords. So this is going to be a very important timing coming in from BTK. Oh, let's see Marky able to cancel it away. Zia goes to the wrong side of the map with the wings by wings and almost gets caught out there. And Onik, once again, it looked very good for BTK, but they have taken control of the lanes once more. And they're already trying to translate that to something, a pick maybe, with the Larski in the front. White Chicken jumping in already. Rival Spider, Raven Spider, and the Point Star Moon, actually. Now, it's all the resources from BTK used up. It's gonna be the Shadow Kill used up onto White Chicken. A lot of damage plays, and that's gonna be him taken very, very low. On a PH, picking up a kill on the other side. Victor can't do anything. Zero, two, and one. And they've just taken what oh. I think is the Lord. Unfortunately for BTK, that looked really promising for them, but they missed the jump. Oh, Marky! Onto... Marky! Wait, no okay, way! Wait, Marky! No way. What is this? He finally Ooh. gets taken down, but oh my god! Hatred and Marky with the prime calculations. Larsky jumping in with a bench as well. There's gonna be Momo Zane chained up, and he can't go anywhere. He's forced to back away. Onyx PH takes the purple buff and then goes to their own jungle, waiting for the Lord still. Oh man, you gotta have to give it to Hatred. When Marky jumped in and he got stunned up, he actually focused the wow. turret so that Marky can get out. However, Shark was there to finish the kill. Unfortunately for BTK, wow. when they jumped against Sonic PH, they didn't, uh, they weren't able to connect it against Baloyski. And Baloyski, once he flickered, the disengage once again with the pushback from the Searing Torrents is just way too good for Onyx. All right, let's see Fight Chicken going for Fine Time with instant disengage coming in as Victor jumps in with a Raven Spider and he's getting the stun, getting the stun done. It's gonna be him taking one more, but it's gonna defend the airstrike, zoning Marky away. Delarski now trying to cancel away. 1v3, 2v3, Kyrie destructing, destroying everybody as he keeps on going in. But was able to Kyrie who's gonna win this one. It's gonna be Fight Chicken being the one who takes Kyrie down. Delarski now and Marky, the only two members left on Onyx PH. But what a beautiful wow. fight orchestrated by BTK with the initial engage coming in from Wide Chicken. Well done. Honestly, Victor's follow up was really yeah. important there, and his big catch on towards Hatred changed everything in that fight. Let's look at the replay one more time and start breaking it down because the, the way we see it, Hatred immediately goes down here. This is the hardest decision that they have to make. The Oki Shadow Kill gets proc and with Dolarski, Kyrie only has a couple of seconds to make this choice. Yep. Do I commit or do I take the Quad Shadows out? And eventually once the Quad Shadows came off of time, ah, it was a little too late. Yep. This is definitely the power spike we're looking for for BTK. And that replay just showed us the most ideal scenario for BTK. Mm -hmm. They want to really jump onto the members of Onyx PH. Make sure that Hatred as well as Marky will not be able to deal out the damage from long distance. Exactly what they need and that was what we were looking for in the early stages of the game. This time though, 13 minutes in, into the mid-game, as the closing seconds, minutes of the mid-game will be favoring BTK. Hopefully, they will be able to punish Onyx more of Onyx PH, but it seems like Onyx PH, they are, wanted to control this Lord. They are going to control this Lord. Look at the siege, look at the damage output from Marky and Hatred alone. Sure, Kyrie, he is... Not going to be able to deal that much damage with Lord, but that's all they need. That's all they need. Marky is all they need. Lorsky, though, 
We'll pop the Black Dragon for him. Easy, easy Lord the once more for the Zydomonic PH as they get it. No contest whatsoever. BTK respecting the damage, respecting that range. Yeah, but it's 7-7 seven seven, perfectly even on either side. Just a slight goal lead for Onic PH as they'll hit their item power spike first, but really does not matter because BTK very close to it. And the moment they clear up this next wave, they should be getting to that 42k mark as well. The question is, so far, BTK, they've kind of fixed up their mistakes. The fact that Fried Chicken is going to be playing on this Esmeralda, now he can be a little bit more proactive in a lot of these fights. He can't just, oh, you know, sit back, relax, look to hard carry the game with the range that he has. No, he has to force mistakes out of Onic PH. That's right. And so far, Zia has been uh, very good with his usage of this from Farsa, as well as Zia's, uh, as well as Sharks, Rafaela. Ooh. All right, let's see. Okay. Asgore marching down the base. It's going to be on a PH coming in and actually disengaging. Victor goes in for Bravest Fighter, zoning the members away, but all for not. Oh, Loisky gets taken off. Bob Zane gets taken down. What was that? Beloisky lives with one HP, baiting in Moba Zane, and that's going to be on a PH. Looking for more. Falling time, we're connecting onto the backside. Marky still able to kite away right now with the help of the Larky to disengage. TK are trying desperately to look for fights, but Onyx PH are just too clean with these calculative disengages. Wow. I mean, that was a 50-50 from Obazain. Yeah. If he had killed Beloise, he had more than a movement speed to get on out of there, but wow. Really nice play coming out from Onyx exactly. PH immediately oh. to punish. Now, the Ski Brothers we're talking about as Beloise actually Blue figured forward and then just walked destroyed. right up. Then when Moba Zane felt that there's, there was an opening, Dilarski was instantly there with the Petrify. And after that, because he jumped with the Petrify, you know that the knockup is coming afterwards. The Chain CC followed suit and on the page really found the best target and that's Moba Zane. Zero and three so far with this Roger. Unfortunately, not finding the opening and in a snap, when Fried Chicken went for the kill onto Onyx PH, they were, he wasn't able to do so. And he also lost two turrets for BTK. Onyx PH were just way too efficient with his pushes. And that's the thing, that's been the thing for, for now, you know. Even if, let's say, all right, BTK, Moba Zane gets the kill onto Beloisky when he's in the midst of it all, it's not going to be worth it. That is a roamer. You need to understand this. Sure, he does some that's damage true. now with the glowing wand, but still, it is only a roamer. Yep. That's the thing that Onyx PH has just been so so good at doing with a Natalia baiting in the abilities, resources to be put onto him. A person who, to be honest, like, yes, does damage, but not the prime target that you want to target here. Kyrie, though, he's waiting in the bush. Zia catches it, only goes in for the wings by wings. We'll be able to read that perfectly, but Beloisky now has the winner. Yeah, I think winner is going to be so important Kyrie. because look at him. He wants to beat this out and he has Winter Treasure whenever he wants to get out of this. Yeah, White Chicken going for the Falling Star Moon. Feathered Airstrike to try to do some damage, but it's not in range. Kyrie jumping in onto Moba Zayn, controlling this jungle and taking the purple buff for himself. Great control from Monic PH as they are now taking away the jungle creeps from BTK. We know that BTK really would love to get out of their base, maybe get some, get some farm. Spoloiski once again tanks through all of the initiations coming up from MOBA Zane. And we can see that Onyx PH, they have the better scaling. We're talking about how mid-game oriented BTK is, and so far Onyx PH in a good trajectory to securing what could be a 9-0 start in the upper bracket. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, just domination, but we'll see how they play here because I think BTK might be able to turn this around. At this point, the gold lead doesn't really matter. It's who can execute just a little bit better. More importantly, so one of the Onyx PH members just uh, kind of chilling in BTK's orange jungle. Are they just going to sacrifice top tier one? And if somebody does show up there, they're going to instantly wait for BTK to walk into the brush. Yep. Oh, Fly Chicken going in for the engage already. Broiski able to bring him back to his team. No damage as if he had Kyrie pop the quad shadow, jumping back and Forth, but both teams decide to disengage. Victor on the other side, though, will be able to Red pick up a turret on board. Fly Chicken destroyed. getting taken very low, but the Feather Airstrike doing the same to Onyx PH. And look at this, Victor Chong, uh, you know, giving us a little bit of a taste of his own split pushing as he's able to push up top and then forcing Onyx PH to disengage. One thing I want to say about this Valir pick is what uh, the ultimate which is the Vengeance for Flame, gives you a little bit of cleanse when it comes to CCs. So that might be one of the reasons why Onyx Page also went for it. Because if you're looking at BTK, they're kind of all in. They want to jump and then chain CC their opponents. But with this Flicker and that Vengeance Flame from Poloiski, he can disengage for Onyx PH. Oh, BTK though, they might look for a fight here because the Lord has done a chunk towards Onyx PH health bars. Marky going back in, poking it away. Poloiski doing the same. And both teams will not look for fights right now. Victor's positioning though. He gave up his bush. 
And now Onyx PH have already flowed the minion waves towards the direction of BTK, wanting to control this Lord. Yeah, top side is already going to be naturally pushing here. So Onyx PH, they, they know they have this advantage. They had an initial fat wave down bottom side too, which they can actually look to respond and clear that up for now. But maybe they can catch BTK off of that rotation. They just got to wait for Kyrie. Now Kyrie going in for the orange buff it is going to be a huge resource as White Chicken tries to open up the map, but Onyx PH, they have so the positioning of these members are just so good, opening up the map so so no. well and controlling these bushes has to be the priority for Onyx. This is their comeback condition for BTK. They badly want to control this Lord, but Baloyski already snatching the aggro of the Lord. White Chicken spotted out. He has to be careful. There's a lot of damage from the Onyx PH side, but so far so good for BTK. Oh, that was Kyrie. Kyrie. Oh my god, this guy, he baited away the Holy Baptism oh. with nothing. Only a quad shadow pop. And now they're looking for the engage actually onto Fight Chicken. He's gonna be Broloski flickering in. Marky going for entropy, oh. able to deal some damage. It's a large key goes in for re-engage onto that backside. Let's see. The Pierce dive is still ready. But in the mid lane! Oh. Boba Zane in the 1v1 against Kyrie. That is him winning it out. The Hayabusa getting the victory as Fight Chicken goes in for the re-engage onto the Larsky, but there's no damage to follow it up. Remember, Roger has been taken down. Onik will most likely get this uncontested once more. Um, and not only that, they, are, they have taken out the purple buff away from, uh, from Obazine. Really getting so much out of this skill. Oh my god, damage coming in. It's gonna be the winner's truncheon coming in as well. Victory will be baited away. He's gonna be taken down. Marky picking up the kill. Of course, this white chicken backs away. It is a 2 4 0. Onyx, so good at prolonging these fights and getting these victories. That was so good. It's so smart coming in from Onyx PH there. The only 50 50 that was, the only 50 50 that was around was whether Mobazin was able to tank the full damage to the Yoki Shadow Kill coming out from Hayabusa from Kyrie when he was in that row mid lane rotation. A couple of things he could have done. Move towards Little Wanderer's side, maybe. And also, there was no wave to actually help him out as well. So, there's only so much that he could do. The odds were stacked in Onyx PH. They gotta just keep on doing this. Utilizing Kyrie as a split push mechanic and BTK. It's, it, it's so hard to beat him in that 1v1. Man, let's see what they do with this Enhanced Lord. They are already setting it up with the side lanes being pushed up first. The mid lane will come in a little bit later right now, but look at the wave control coming from this team. Just immaculate, just precise. I have not been talking about the fact that it has been 21 minutes for now in BTK True. holding their ground, but Onyx is actually very happy with the face of the game. They want to take it slow because they have the better scaling heroes, oh. and look at that! Yeah, Fight Chicken going in for the desperate engage, but Moba Zane is nowhere near there to go for something. Zia pops in for the airstrike, Galarski instantly goes in for the Black Dragon form, able to zone them away right now. That is a very, very good engage. But Victor, he's actually going to be able to dump into the backside, getting picked off though. Galarski will be the one picking that kill up, as now it is a 1 for 0. It looked really good for Victor, getting the stun onto Kyrie, but in the end, Onyx are the ones here pushing in the base. Let's see what they can do. Fight Chicken zoning the other members away. As the Holy Baptism connects on the two! Ooh. What is this? For the airstrike, gonna be able to get someone down. Winner's Truncheon onto the Hayabusa, still able to get away, but it is the precise timing of Zia to get the defense done. Fight Chicken flickering away. Marky jumping with the entropy, gonna be able to take one down. Oh, Shut down. Is it's not gonna be able to do oh. anything. A clean sweep! What time is it? It's, it's Onyx time! time. What a beautiful performance from the Onyx Philippine team! Oh my word! The slow game that favored Onyx PH as they lasted through the early game composition of BTK. It looked wonderful, the jumps were there. But Onyx PH just stayed true to the banana split, the macro game. And truly, it is Onyx magic. Wow, oh, wow, what a game. They booked their tickets. Well done. It's going to be Onyx Philippines going to the grand finals. What a beautiful performance going 9 and 0 oh in the upper brackets. Oh my goodness. This is this is this is some great stuff here. But don't worry to be TK fans out there. They're just going down to the lower brackets. It's a little bit of a detour and maybe they still have hope to make it to the grand finals. And they still have secured top 3. And they do still have a chance to stay true to what Moba Zane did about booking uh, or watching them in the grand finals. For sure, they have learned something. And Dilarski, full of emotion. Oh, full of emotion. The brothers, Baloyski and Dilarski, not by blood, but in game. For the longest time, they haven't played together from some other esports titles. And now they have re reunited in Onyx PH for FPL Season 8. And now they have gotten back <laughs> into the world stage.